Hey everybody, Shab and Nobody Else's Auto. We are here at Meekum, Kansas City. Tractor Mike and my good buddy Alan. We're all hanging out. There's a big group of us. We got more guys with us out warning around. It is Thursday morning, first day, getting ready to get things rolling. Mike is wound up. Yes. So Mike needs to buy something. We're going to encourage him. Me and Alan will be right behind him, helping him out, nudging him along. Because, like I said, we know Mike's going to make some poor decisions this weekend. And Alan, myself, and all the rest of us are going to be here to support him and help make sure that happens. So <laughs> it's going to be a good time. We're going to go wander around, check out a bunch of cars. Maybe Alan will find something. Who knows? It's going to be a lot of fun, though. We know that. There's a lot of cool cars here to check out. And it's going to be a great weekend. So hopefully we're going to run into some of you this weekend. We're going to check out some cars. We're going to help Tractor Mike make some poor decisions. And um, Alan's back there just being nice and quiet, and, which – you, He's that nice guy. As, as you all know, that's usually the dangerous one. So, yeah, he's ready to go, too. And I'm being quiet this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to get rolling. We're going to check some things out. We're going to bring you some clips from this weekend as we're here hanging out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, stay tuned. Let's go wander around and check out some cars. Here's a cool old Pontiac. I really like these cars. I've got a four-door hardtop that I've had since I was, like, 11 years old. 58 Chieftain, four-door hardtop in green and white. So this is a really neat one. Two-door hardtop Chieftain with factory fuel injection. Yes, fuel injection was available from Pontiac in 57 and 58. You just don't see it very often. So obviously I wanted to check this one out since I've got a 58 and I've always liked these cars. This one is pretty sharp. The red and the black, obviously the fuel injection definitely takes this one to a little bit different level but it is cool backup light deletes which is kind of odd but a sharp car well here's something kind of interesting we see the 390 badge of an early 60s Ford Comet on a Galaxy or something like that. This car is actually a custom two-door post police package. Check this thing out. This is a pretty cool little car. Plain Jane, two-door sedan, kind of a light metallic beige type color, but it is fully equipped with police gear. Spotlight, light on the top, whip antenna, just your basic two-door sedan with a 390 and a three-speed manual inside once again pretty basic now what they're telling us with the information on this car they believe it was an Iowa State Highway Patrol vehicle based out of Des Moines but something kind of different that's one cool thing about going to these auctions you never know what kind of cool cars you're going to get to check out. I mean, there's a wide variety of stuff here. We're just showing you bits and pieces of some of the stuff that's here. But even had a stoplight right on the side of the front fender. Something kind of different. Like I said, that's what we're trying to do here. Just checking out cool stuff, hanging out with friends and having a great time. And checking out some of the different stuff that's here. Let's go see what else we can find. Well, we're out wandering around. We found another friend, Jason Caldwell. Jason hangs out with us sometimes jumps on some of the lies with us. How's it going today? Good, I came up here today looking around, hoping to buy something, but first I had to find somebody to borrow some money from, so I'm really glad I ran into you. Yeah. Uh, can so I get you, a couple of checks or something? So, so, like so you, around here you got like $8 in credit, just so you know. You know, they told me I could buy anything I wanted as long as I had cash. Before I even raised my hand, they wanted to count the money and make sure. So, so my so, bidding process is slow. They're like, how much has he got? Okay, all right, let him bid one more time. Let him bid one more time. <laughs> so you got to lay it all out, and then if you want to bid again, you got to put more on the table. More, more. Okay. <laughs> so, so far, I saw a little pit scooter, but I ran out of money before the bidding started on it. So I, I was out. <laughs> so I was, it might be kind of a short day. But. I was out before I was in. There's but some cool stuff here. There is a lot of cool stuff here. That's what's fun about it, hanging out, checking things out. Running into guys like this that known for a long time. I just saw Stephen Huntley, and he said, if we need any money, he's got it. And if he doesn't have it, Chris Dingman's got it. Sweet. So we're, and he's here somewhere, so <laughs> we're good to go. So, of course, we recognize him because he's wearing that weird hat. Yeah, oh, yeah, SPR. I don't yeah. know what that's about. SPR. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, actually, I met you hanging out at Scott Palmer Racing. That's just one more good reason not to hang around the Palmer Pets, <laughs> if you don't know already. Yeah, if you don't know our friend Scott Palmer, um, occasionally, occasionally, poor decisions have happened in those areas. I think the middle, the SPR, something stands for poor in the middle of that. Uh, super poor, uh, I don't know, R, what's the R? Let's see. I don't know. Super poor renditions, maybe? There you go. Reservations? <laughs> well, so, hey, Scotty, hope that hand's healing up. Yep. You know, he got a pretty bad wreck with Studebaker, but he's already got another car in the works and ready to go. So, he's a lot of fun. He needs to go out there to your salvage and pick over some parts, yeah. you know, find some good stuff to uh, build that next pro mod with. All right, well, let's go look, check some more stuff out, Jason. We're going to find some stuff. Hold on. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> You're getting practiced up, ready to go. I'm warming her up. We're almost to the end, but I'm going to try to bid one more time. All right, let's go check out some more cool stuff. All kinds of cool stuff here. Like I said, that's what's fun about going to these deals, is checking out a ton of cool cars. Sweet 63 Impala wagon, supercharged T-bucket. That's what makes these deals great. So much cool stuff. And just rows and rows of it. Here's one you don't see very often. 1965 Buick GS. The Grand Sport in 65, the first year for it. This is actually even a post car. Buckets console. A unique car that you do not see very often. Kind of a light pale yellow. Pretty good looking little car. And under the hood of this one, nail head Buick Power. Just like these still were in 65. And when I say rows and rows, there are cars everywhere. That's what's so awesome about coming to these. Whether it's a small auction, a big auction, there's you always see a wide array of super cool stuff. Whether you're into modified stuff, stock stuff, later model performance, Just a lot of cool stuff. The stuff there, this was all for earlier. That stuff is all in line, getting ready to run right now. Late model muscle, the Dodge Demon. An iconic car when it comes to late model performance. These things are just awesome. Ford Street Rod, 442W30. Something interesting about these Oldsmobiles, the red fender wells. Those were stock, those are correct. 69 Chevelle, mirrors under this one, showing off the detail in this build. Here's another super cool little unique car. Once again, up in the air with mirrors under this 56 Chevy two-door post. Look at the bottom side of this car. Inside, top to bottom, this thing looks amazing. Radio delete, clock delete. And this one's packing a surprise under the hood. This doesn't look like your normal 56 Chevy. Look at that air cleaner. Yes, this car is set up with factory dual quads. Yes, dual quads were available 
on these cars in 56. You don't see very many of them, but it was available. details about this 56 posted right here with it super cool little car we see them pulling some more in the line getting ready for their chance across the block sharp Ford convertible and here comes a mercury big Cadillac convertible coming around the corner. Line them up, ready to go across the block. Here's a car that I'm not quite sure what to think of. Believe it or not, this is a 2014 Camaro. That's what it's listed as. It has some sort of a body kit on it to resemble a 69 Chevelle. Stinger type hood. Not really sure what to think of this. This really probably, I don't think this is my cup of tea. I'm sure there's guys that really love this thing, but to me, this is just not not my thing but it is different it's definitely different i'm like i said i'm sure there's guys that love them personally it is not my favorite but somebody has put a ton of work into this car and done a nice job but it's just it's just a little too different a little too far out there for me but believe it or not that is a 2014 camaro Well, that wraps up the first day. Wraps up Thursday, Mecham, Kansas City. Had a ton of fun today. Got to see some friends. Our good buddy Alan snagged a few today. So, but like I said, it's always fun. It's a great time. There's a ton of cool cars here, like we've seen, and we're getting, and we've seen some friends and got to hang out with a lot of our other buddies. So. Had a great time. Let's see what happens tomorrow.